right there. Unlike Epe, it's a little easier to come back and foil because you have the protection of right of way. What I mean is you can start an attack and both lights can come on. The defender just can't stick their arm out and get the light. They have to hit with right of way. So it's a little easier to come back. That being said, if Shanaeva keeps fencing like this, Jeon will not be able to come back. Jeon is convinced that she's having weapon problems. Maybe she is, I don't know. But she's definitely not fencing with the confidence that she had against Di Francesca. That is for sure. Shanaeva has a way of getting in the way of your attack, going when you're not ready, and then making herself very hard to fit. That's a, that's a nice attack from Xion. Remember okay. earlier I said this will be a battle to see who can get their style of fencing through. It appears that right now Shanaeva is winning that battle of styles. Oh, But if there's a if there's a type of style that will be successful in a comeback, okay. it's an aggressive attacker who's fit and who has very fast feet. That's exactly what Jeon Hee-sook from, from Korea has. She does not want to get into a battle of the hands against this Russian girl. Her hand, uh, Shanaeva's hand is too good. It's too precise. Jeon, if she wants to come back, in my opinion, is going to have to use her feet and keep moving in and out. I know the opportunity seems like it's right there, but she cannot stay in that lunge. If she doesn't end on her attack, she's got to move. Still a two-touch lead for Shanaeva. Shaneva really can't believe she didn't hit. She's saying to, to Gion, please, let's test together. I want to make sure that my equipment's working. Uh, Gion obliges, and it does work. Of course, if you're a fencer, you know it almost always works, so you can test all you like. Jean being much more active right now. That's what she has to do. She's moving in and out. She's not being a sitting target. She's going to have to continue that activity. You don't want to take a second. Uh, this is gamesmanship here. This is pure gamesmanship. She asked the referee if she could take her mask off and wipe her face. What she's done is take her mask off, unplug it, wipe her face, fix her hair. All of this is taking a break. So she can not necessarily get her breath, but get a plan of attack. She's got about a minute left. She needs to score one touch to get back into this bout and tie it up. And she, this is really just her taking a quick break to say, okay, now oh it's, it's money time. Let me get my business together. If she tries it again, the referee will definitely warn her for delay of bout. One time, okay. Two times, no way. Well, while we were looking at replay, Shanaeva scored with a pair of posts. So Gion's gamesmanship served to help Shanaeva as well. Well, there you 
you go. And one minute left, and she was able to squeeze in one repose there. Again, I wouldn't recommend it for her. She's in the driver's seat. She scored that 10th touch. It's down to this last 57 seconds. Oof. Shiny Evan knows she missed an excellent opportunity there for an easy, relatively easy touch. Ali. Both athletes are tired now, both pressing a little bit. It'll be a first world championship for either athlete. Both of them wants to take advantage of this. And there they go together. Gian hits, Shana Ava misses. Could it be the pressure? Could it be the pressure of, of performing at this high a level? I don't know. But now it's 11-11, tie score. While the bout goes to 15, this bout will end when that clock hits zero with whoever is ahead. So if it's 12-11 or 15-11, that bout will be over. If it's tied, we'll go to an extra minute of fencing. The closer we get to zero, the more the more the instincts will tell these people to wait and let's fence for an extra minute. It's not a full minute, it's one touch of sudden death. We are going to sudden death. There is no minute break. What they do now is they, they basically, they are electronically flipping a coin. Jun Hee from Korea has won the priority. What that means is after one minute of fencing, if nobody has scored a valid touch, she will be declared the winner. This is to guarantee that there is additional action for this minute and that you just don't wait because right now Shanaeva has a real reason to push and to attack. Now there's different strategy. Maybe Jun will attack because that's how she's gotten back into the bout. Maybe she'll wait. But in my in my experience in watching this bout, if she waits, Shanae will push her to the end of the strip and Shanae will have the advantage. It's very interesting. So we have a minute left to see who's gonna win. As we get back here, the advantage in this bout is shifted towards Shanaeva. has to go confer at a tie score in the in the in the priority period in the extra minute. Shanaeva clearly thinks she won that. She's going to wait and see what the referee says. It's close. But again in this bout I feel like Shanaeva's had the advantage when she's pushed forward and got Jun back into that 2 meter area, that black area there. That was her first attack which is no. Let's see what we see here. June shows a little preparation, pulling the arm back, just a little. Shaneva starts the attack. We'll see if it was enough for her to take, to have the attack taken from her. The referee is back, and he calls in the preparation from June. Shaneva makes an attack which arrives. Shaneva, Aida Shaneva wins her first world championship. 